Well, you know, boiler rooms, they can actually be a little bit dangerous, and you always want to be prepared. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit about the emergency shutoff switch today on the boiling point. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. We're with uh, longtime service technician Steve Duvall and now actually our technical support for not only our customers but also for our service technicians when they're out into the field. I was walking around the shop the other day and I saw the emergency stop button and I wanted to maybe just talk a little bit about that so I went with, to Steve and thought uh, maybe why don't we bring some information to um, you know our viewers about the e-stop. Um, mm -hmm. Why is it that we would actually use that emergency stop button, Steve? Well, if, if something occurs or you hear um, the boiler not normal, in fact, being loud or something, mm -hmm. uh, it enables you to not go in the trailer or a boiler room to, uh, if you hit it, that it kill the burner, all the power to the burner, so you don't have to get actually in the trailer or the boiler room itself. And then you can evaluate what's going on afterwards mm -hmm. but uh, it's just a safety feature so when you hit that emergency stop button burner shuts down yes you still have uh you know it's the, the boiler still hot yes uh there's still steam on it yeah. take us through there what happens what's well going on? i would just get safe in a way and uh notify whoever in charge mm -hmm. that the situation that you have um and then like i said when it cools down you can evaluate what happened Right. You know, or what was going on. Okay. And the boiler, it actually uh, continues to produce steam. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. do the pumps shut down in the boiler? What, what's no, going the on? pumps will still be active uh, to keep water in the boiler. Okay. So that that doesn't occur, that it runs low on water. Okay. So, everything else in the trailer or in the boiler room is uh, operating normal. It's just you're killing the burner power, shutting the burner down, um, and that's it. Okay. Um, as far as where the location would be for um, the switch, now obviously this is a rental boiler. Right. We've got this right. set outside, but maybe in a boiler room, where, where are you mm. putting that e stop? You have, uh, you would have one of these at uh, every exit or entrance to the boiler room, uh -huh. uh, right inside the room, so you could reach. If you were headed out, you could hit it, or if you heard something and you opened the door, you could hit it also without entering the room. Okay. So. Yeah, and you're really just trying to just shut down things so that it just doesn't get. Yeah, to you'll get worse. you'll know if something uh, isn't uh, doesn't sound right or something, and right. so that just gives you a another safety feature that you don't have to say climb in the trailer to mm -hmm. shut the switch off, uh -huh. or to go up to the burner if you was in a permanent or a stationary boiler room to actually go to the burner and shut it down. You could just do it on the way out, or just reach in and shut it down. Okay. Well, you never want something like this to happen, but I uh, thought it was really important that if you don't have an e-stop button in your boiler room, or if you're even getting some rental boilers that don't have an e-stop button on them, you want to make sure that you've got something to be able to kill right. um, the power so that you don't, uh, I guess, have some even more, some, some larger catastrophes. So, yeah. uh, Steve, always appreciate you hanging out with us, mm -hmm. um, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Catastrophes do happen in a boiler room, and now you're a little prepared with that e-stop switch. Appreciate Steve hanging out with us and talking to us about that today. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, share the videos. Stop. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.